kitchen, I'm showing you how to put together a delicious Waldorf uh, uh, salad. So this is so good. I mean, you have apples and celery and walnuts and, and everything good. I threw in some dry fruit as well as regular grapes in there. And so I'm just chopping up the apples. And the way that I do the apples is I'll cut down uh, all four sides of the apple and then I have the core here and I just toss it away. Mom taught me that trick many, many years ago. Then I'll take these and chop them up. I am not taking the skin off of them because I actually like the skin. If you are one of those people that don't like the skin, you can certainly peel that off of there. That's not an issue at all. I think it's good fiber for you. It keeps you regular. <laughs> all right, I also have some chicken breasts over here that I've grilled up. And the trick with this is don't overly season the chicken breast. Matter of fact, if you didn't season them at all, it wouldn't be a, a problem because you're going to season the salad. And so if your chicken is already seasoned, then it's gonna compete with what the seasonings are in the salad. So let's get these finished up and add it into there. These are yummy. I remember even, you know, the Waldorf story in New York is the one that's famous for this salad. And I don't know if they really created it because I remember grandma, my great grandmother making the salad when I was a little kid. I don't know how long it's been around, but in the culinary world, I have heard rumors and gossips that the salad was actually created um, because they didn't have anything else to put together. So they threw together the salad and it became a huge hit and voila, the Waldorf Astoria salad. Now to this, it's a mayonnaise-based salad. So I'm going to add into it some mayonnaise. And then you'll season the salad with whatever it is that you want to season it with. And so just fold that mayonnaise together. I'm not adding in the chicken yet because it's fairly hot. So I don't, I want it to cool off a little bit before I add it into there. There's the walnuts, the grapes, the yummy apples and celery all just tossed together in there. I'll season this with some salt and pepper and it'll be good. It'll go on a bed of lettuce of which I'm going to create a lemon vinaigrette to just lightly dress the salad because my one pet peeve, guys, with this particular salad is the lettuce doesn't have any dressing on it generally. So I'll keep working on it here in the sa in the kitchen and it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. I know Ron will be happy because I've got the bird You've got grilled the chicken. Up. Yep, <laughs> you, you got the bird there. And that's what we all want. They gotta do it, make them back. Kids are Everybody, let's finish up the uh, this amazing salad. And so I have the vinaigrette already in this bowl. This is the lemon vinaigrette, which is just equal parts of fresh lemon juice, olive oil, and then I chopped up some fresh herbs, some basil and parsley in there. It's so good, I added a little salt and pepper, and I'm just mixing it up, and that's why I have the gloves on. Uh, honestly, the best mixers in the kitchen are our God-given mixers, our hands. And so that's a good thing. Just mix that in, toss that. And because I'm going to serve this immediately, I don't mind tossing it right now, because the dressing will uh, begin to wilt that lettuce. And so if you ever serve a salad, keep that in mind. You never want to dress a salad until just before serving it because it will begin to wilt the lettuce. I've added in the chicken that I cooled off, tossed it, and I mixed it in with the mayonnaise, salt and pepper to taste. Once again, there's celery, there are grapes in here, there are walnuts. Oh, it just smells amazing. Chicken in there and mayonnaise, mix that all together and just very, very fresh, I think, for the first day here of summer that I'm hearing Lindsay talk about. And then you're just gonna put this on top of it. And this has been my pet peeve with this salad ever since I can remember is that the lettuce is actually very boring. It has no flavor to it. And so by dressing that salad, that lettuce underneath that, you're gonna have some amazing flavor in there. You can dress it with whatever favorite dressing you have. I'm serving it with some artisan bread and this is a lemon sour cream pound cake. I thought that would go well with it too. Just very bright, refreshing, perfect for summer. It's a great idea for dinner tonight and you can just get this recipe right at KUTV.com. You can go to my website, cookingwithchefbrian.com and grab it too. But it's a fun idea for the summer heat. Ron, mm, Mary? Sure is. And I have some more chicken for you, Ron. Ooh. Oh man, I can't wait. I'll just take that whole plate Thanks of so lemon. Much.